Oh. Don't film me. I don't like being on camera. <laughs> You're oh. literally- I don't like being on camera! Fucking job! You're in my other hand! Fucking job! Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Hello, hey. it's We're the Normies, and we're back for season two! Episode one of Succession. It's called what? Summer Palace. What's it called, Summer? I think it's yeah, called Summer yeah. Palace. The, the Summer so Palace. The Summer Palace. The. Names. Suraj. Rana. Chris, I have a confession, Johnson. Nikki. Is it because of him? I killed a man once. <laughs> I did it with my bare hands. Oh. Where did you buy bare hands? Yeah! <laughs> From the killing the man store. I feel bad for Kendall because now he got a body, bro. Uh, Jeremy Strong, I believe the actor's name was, in the uh, little little two minute tidbit. They're not as long as House of the Dragon. It's a little two minute tidbit after each episode. He said that the director of that episode said that he implored them to pour buckets of like cold ice water over his head during mm -hmm. the whole sequence of him coming back after the, uh, the murder because yeah. he just wanted it to like feel realistic and he was like freezing cold. Yeah, he, he, wanted, was... he wanted to look like he was... <laughs> yeah, don't act cold, just be cold. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was yeah. good. Good commitment there. Damn. A little, little tidbit. Yeah. <laughs> Not a like and substitute, support the original content, hit that like and subscribe button. You know what, do, do it right now. We're on season two. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being on this journey with us. We're, we're jumping into this. He's in a desert. Uh, Cleaning so out. Sweating it out. You know what they need out there? Sauna bus. Yeah, yeah. Sauna bus. Take the sauna bus to fucking Coachella. Actually. Or Burning Man. No, no. Coachella at night. Perfect. He's going to be seeing that kid everywhere like an apparition or a hallucination. Man, if I was doing ketamine and got into an accident with a billionaire and that's how I died, I'd be so mad. <laughs> <laughs> At least he might have passed out very... Do you want to get dressed and we can talk? We might need to pull you out. And your father has asked us to manage getting you on television as soon as possible. No. Kind of got to do what his dad wants him to do now. I've only been here like 48 hours and I'm meant to have a <laughs> to zoom in on the wet feet. Treatment. Can I just, uh... <laughs> no. No, you can't wait for your mud treatment, bro. Get on TV. Probably have to say, you have to deny some shit. I don't know. Get your fucking shit together, bro. They have gone public with a bear hug. The advice was we should get you on TV this morning as New York opens. You okay, mate? Yeah. No, I just killed a man. Friggin' no, I'm not okay. Mama <laughs> just killed a man. My dad wants me to do it. Uh, I'll, I'll do it. If my dad wants me to do it, I'll do it. I saw the plan. Dad's plan is better. I saw the plan. Dad's plan is better. That's it. That's the whole key card. It's just... Yeah. Do we even have to put it on the cue card? I'd be kind of upset, to be honest. I didn't even lie. They will want to go for the tough one. So let's run it. Why did you do that? And why did you change your mind and pull out? I saw their plan, but Dad's plan was better. <laughs> that's it. That's not a good enough answer. They're going to pry more. That's it. That's all his dad would say, and then he'd get up and leave. No further questions. You know, I'm going to ask this. How are things between you and your dad? <laughs> uh, pretty good. Better than you know, they were. We're, uh, we're. We're pretty close, so you know that's how we are. Oh, well, that's a <laughs> great <laughs> attitude. Sorry, sorry. No. Go ahead. Oh, okay. So let's. Talk. <laughs> Why did you get involved? Why did you back out? Well, I saw their plan. My father's was better. There's. Uh, uh, Just say the word. That's why they had to write it on the postcard. <laughs> You know, the long and the short of it is, I saw their plan, and my dad's plan was better. Look, this is. Uh, She's like, thank God, we got it. He said the words. <laughs> Once upon a time, word was that you were in the pole position to take over, right? And uh, God forbid your dad was hit by a bus tomorrow. Is there a plan? There's always a plan. Yeah, I was gonna say, just say there's always a plan. Uh, the municipality of New York to uh, find another bus because if my dad gets hit by a bus tomorrow, the city will be down one bus. Not one CEO. Hey, all right, good. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the first fucking thing my son's ever done right <laughs> is <laughs> My dude. Not to a room full of people. Good. That was good. <laughs> no respect. Do you think the siblings know what happened no. that night? Okay. Family secrets, bro. If they're going to proceed. Well, they can't go hostile. No. Shook so with that hair. Oh, I know. Shit. No. You want to abandon Honeyman? What? No. No, I don't want to. Do you? No. Yo, she's caseless too. Or is she? She has a case on her. She has a case thin, on her, buddy. Thin boy, thin boy. Damn, I thought she was a real one. 
he doesn't know about comedy. Shark Thumb! That's why y'all got you broken ass phones. phones. Uh oh. Thank you, Rena. Well, I want to be picked up like this from an airport. Fuck, that'd be great. Motorcycle ride? What? It's like Tom Cruise. Why can't he drive his own motorcycle? His dad wanted Because he him. can't drive a car. You gotta have a motorcycle just, license. He's rich, remember? I know, but, but it's he like, told the poor guy that died before in the water. He doesn't drive himself ever. It's just, it's just wild. Like, get in the car then. There's, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe, I don't see the point of the motorcycle. Maybe they could bob time. and weave traffic. I don't know. Oh, here he is, Mr. Potato Head. Oh, no, Dad's going to relish in this. Thank you for the TV thing. Price is up a little, so I don't think it's done anything for us. Well, at least he tried. Okay, Carl, I need to debrief the double agent. <laughs> I'll uh, update you in, what, 20 on the poison No, no, what? you stay. Stay. <laughs> I can't be talked to like this for Dude, any price. I, I don't know. I'm a piece of shit, stay. I guess. Sit. Like, fuck. Wait. So, you want... What? Turn up the I want the bit. game plan. What the timetable is. When did they approach you? Did it take long or did you open your legs on the first <laughs> <laughs> No, no they, they took uh, their time to persuade me to, to uh, betray me. Well, that's nice. It was your idea, actually. Well, they well, wanted to buy your share. Goal. They think they'll win? Yeah, we. They, they think. Uh, I guess when I talked about inside the firm, they got the impression that there was some erratic decision making. I gave them what medications you're on. They have for background you hitting Iverson and they have you pissing on the floor of my office. Uh-huh. He's almost proud of you. Keep this, going. Uh, I just want to say. Fine. Well, fuck off. I'll put you somewhere. So, hold on. I thought I was drying out. Am, am I working? Now? Yeah, I can work. Should I be working in my condition of <laughs> drug addled murder brain? Yeah, just normally on, uh, on some matters, Jess speaks to um, my friend Nick for me. He sources for me. Right. What? Then we're talking about drugs. More drugs still? Honestly, right now, I need a straightener. Oh. Thank you. Hey, I mean, I thought... wasn't he supposed to clean out anyway? What the fuck did they think was going to happen? <laughs> so, uh, what's your move? The obvious. Uh, I'll say I'm thinking, drag it out. Hope that it dies. Name a successor. Uh huh. Like the name of the yeah. show. In all honesty, on the business fundamentals, you should make a deal and sell. If you don't, it's going to be a vicious fight. Perhaps you win. Perhaps. Until then, uh, nothing will get done. Tech is coming. Tech is here. Tech has its hands around your throat. Uh oh. Yeah, you're still fucking around with TV stations. Two. The price that Sandy's offering is inflated. It's inflated by bitterness ego spite. You choose not to sell? Well, what's going to be different in, in two, four years? Culturally, structurally, and financially, you're in the toilet. Damn, he's telling like it is. You'll be in the mega toilet. <laughs> not the mega toilet. Now, generally, you do the wise thing, but no, no, obviously not this time. This time you call me something disgusting and throw the decanter at the wall. <laughs> well, you fuck nugget. Yeah. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> Holy shit. Did you get the text? Did you get this? Is this for real? Yeah, I got it. So? Wow. He's going to sell? He's really listening to that guy. I mean, but then the like, options were clear. But then he like, should. He would never sell. Woody, do we go? Uh, Damn, Kendall could have been on that other side. But the others, they, they are offering an, an inflated price, though. <laughs> yep, you could have been on the other side, buddy. Nice abode, man. Uh, what's what's the news? Uh, that's what his dad says. How you doing? Yeah, oh, good. It's good, dude. You're just listening to nondescript trap beats. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Royalty free trap type beat. To, to, to do coke and work out. <laughs> did you bring. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That great night. Uh, did this come from Coach? Oh, no. Uh, he's out of town. That is from another source. You would like to make sure there's no fentany in it, baby. Uh, where, where did you get this? Uh, that is, it's from a connection. Now you better test it for fentanyl. In the park. Park coke. I'm not, don't take that. Park coke. I'll be lucky if I have any fucking nostrils left after this. If my septum falls out, I'm gonna make you eat my septum. <laughs> yeah. This guy, this guy's got, got the good shit. <laughs> it's actual sugar. You're just doing actual booger. Oh, is it? Is it? Is it not? Mm. Yeah. No, that's the worst coke I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. Dude, I'm so oh, sorry. Oh, Greggy. Like, he promised me. Oh, he promised you? I swear, I mean, uh, do you want me to take it back? Yeah, take it back. Sir, can I get a refund for my Coke, please? 
Oh. Oh, okay. We're looking absolutely everywhere once again. They can't yeah, find the this man. Yes, all That's like Serge's that car back in the day. Oh, it was Open the door. It's it like, like our the fucking studio. Died yeah. and left its dick in the breeze. <laughs> 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 You all right? Yeah. No. Um, um, Bro, um, I'm not. I, I could use some downtime. You know, I'm thinking it's natural. Can't be helped. Logan, you done something like that before? I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. He's old man. He's probably gotten away with a couple murders. Two mm -hmm. accidental, one on purpose. Third, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You've been through difficult times. Right. Out of difficult times come strong men. Okay, Marsha. Trying to get him on your side, I see. So the site of the crash was discovered around 4 a.m. <laughs> An entry key card was found and passed to me. That's one individual outside of our loop, but it was known to me and who I consider secure. And the UK police sent divers in that morning. Right, and right. the kid, uh, Andrew Dodds. Andrew Dodds. Now he he's unclipped his seatbelt, so he had survived impact to do that. Oh, okay. So the initial determination was that he was traveling solo. And the riverbank was also heavily compromised by rain and our guys and the salvage operation, so there are no indicators of another individual. So that's where we are. You could have pulled him out, bro. He he unhooked his seatbelt. No, he never put the seatbelt on. No, he did. He just said he un he survived the initial impact. So like he could have been, if this motherfucker knew how to dive, maybe took off his suit jacket. Oh, that wasn't like a lie to cover up like the story they're just telling Kendall. No, no, he was just gonna tell him everything. This is an honest truth. Oh, I thought this was like the story now. How could you ever go down to that laundry room ever again? Like, I'm never going to that room again. I'm never going to that particular place in Scotland. I know ever his name. Again. Andrew Dodds. Say his name. Andrew Dodds is dead. His name is Robert Paulson. What the fuck happened? Why'd you pull out? I guess I, uh, I saw their plan. <laughs> Dad's plan was better. Dad's plan was better. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. I just said it. Bullshit. Um, what happened? Tell him. I changed my mind. I guess. I guess. You do realize how fucked you're gonna be as soon as you're no longer gonna use him, right? Yeah, Dad's gonna play a merry tune on you and then throw you out the fucking window. I mean, you know that, right? Well, he's like a sex robot for Dad to fuck. He's like an old beaten dog. Are you <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, bro. Because he tried to pull one on them, so they're, they're ribbing him a little bit. Come on, fuckbag, fight back. I can't get into it. Oh, you can't get into it? Fuck you, man, come on. Treat us, why did you actually back up? I killed the man! Ah! Can't tell your siblings. Yeah, you don't want anyone else in this loop. They've located the source of the smell. You should come. Not you should come. Is it one of those you gotta smell the shit up close kind of deals? Ew. What? Oh. Oh, what the fuck is that? I need to see that contractor. Are they here? Come on, we're starting. And I don't want all this shit to sat around in the stink. Pizza! We'll have pizza! What? 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 You just gonna throw it away? <laughs> It sat, it, sat, it sat around in the stink. Who cares? Damn, if only it was lettuce and it wasn't millions of dead animals instead, I do agree with Nikki on this Thank one. Thank you. Damn, that cow died for nothing just to go straight to the trash, bro. Wow. The question that's been put to me is, do we really want this fight? Or is now the moment to cash in and fuck off out of the casino? If we do fight, I need to tell the board who I want to take over. Succession. Jerry. Not Kendall. Oh, Kendall's out 100%. You're the one who built it all. You're the man, the myth, the legend. Is he saying Dad should stay on because that's what Sandy and Stewie want? How do we know he's not a double agent? Secret Thank Hitler. You. He has <laughs> taken his medicine. He's taken his medicine? Oh, is that it? Dad, you beat Roman with a fucking slipper and Gestalt till he cried for ordering lobster, remember? <laughs> Jesus, Roman's had a rough childhood. Stick or so. I'm like, can I have one slice of this pizza before we talk? I know, right? I mean... I swear to God, if they throw that pizza away without nobody eating it. You want me to go? I mean, no! Sell seems cool. Uh, yeah. Willa, shut Willa thinks selling seems cool. <laughs> I think it is possible that you have sometimes somewhat chilled the atmosphere of free-flowing debate. You know, Kodak was trading at about $100 a share back in 97. Damn. Tell us about it. <laughs> Yesterday? Damn. You could pick it up for about three bucks. That could be us. If we cash out, we could walk away with 10 billion. That's so It's pretty much a bill at the table well, for everybody. Uh, I'm not sure that I'm willing to give my strategic advice in a public forum when I could be a player in any future moves. Um, what? That, bro, you're playing word games around us. <laughs> He's like, I can get a straight, straight, honest answer out of these fucking people. 
She's just gonna jump out the window. <laughs> Dad? Dad. One by one. One by one. I swear to God, this, 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 like, if this was my parent, bro. <laughs> Come whisper in my ear what you think I should do, then fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. I actually do have a pitch on this, Dad. Financialization flowed hot. I mean, keep news for political power, for market manipulation capability, but the rest. Jesus. And in terms of getting rid of Sandy and Stewie? Oh, fuck them. Scare them off. Fuck them. How? Scooby do it, Dad. You just dress up as ghosts in the theme parks. It's not actual advice. Um, you know. Use the lawyers, the PIs, the honey trap hookers, all the unpleasant people at our disposal. Call in all the favors, fucking President Raisin, all the <laughs> Senate cocksucks who owe us. Fucking kill, kill, kill. I don't buy this, LA. It's a test. No? I, I just think the least that we want for me is to get me out of Parks and Cruises, right? Mm -hmm. Into something like Heartland Media LA. Do we just ask? Do we accelerate the plan? You know, could I consider the big trousers? What the? Could I fall out? You're not. You He's not ready. Shit. He's dying. Kettle over there. Riddled with cancer. Wrong. What? It's a funny joke. Dad's got cancer. What's not funny about that? Sick puppy. No, but um, he asked me to run the company. I'm kidding. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, they chef. love their secrets, bro. They're crazy. Mm -hmm. Chef. Hey, chef. Dentist is ready. <laughs> he got jokes. <laughs> I think you should sell. Sell, 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 sell. That's what I would say. I would sell. Ten billion dollars. You're good. You're good. You're done. You've done all the things. But they want power. They don't want money. They already have money. To what end? Why? All right. Fine. From my perspective, truth be told, yeah. Selling would be great. No more blowback with my career. I'll take my money. Five years time, I'd like to be free of this company and the Roy name. You gonna be a WAMS again? That's it. No hope. I haven't really thought, but what's obvious is shutter the businesses that burn cash or someone else does better. Restructure for the future. Maybe merge with a distributor, expand parks, expand cruises, lose. News. Ten new parks in China, Russia, Middle East. Nobody wanted to say this shit at the table. It's so funny. Mm -hmm. And they all had opinions. You haven't really thought of it. Well, obviously, I always wanted one of you kids to take over. It's gonna be Shiv. Uh huh. Well, what about it? Yeah, we've done that. What about Tom? So. <laughs> no. <laughs> Funny joke. If we fight, I have to name Kendall. Yeah, I see what this is. I see it. You know, I fucking see it. You've done a little dirty deal. He blackmailed you. Oh, didn't Shiv. He? No, no, it's the opposite. I do what I want, and what I've decided I'd like to do is to formally ask you to come in and be the next chief executive of this company. Damn. That's it. He's asking. I don't think I'm the right person. Why well, not? you know, I'm pretty smart, and I think you are. <laughs> she is the I'm smartest out of all of them. I don't know if she can handle it. You're the one. If it's not going to be you, then it has to be Kendall. Because it just won't be Roman and Connor. Like, that's <laughs> not even a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> because if there's really no hope of you coming in, I'd rather cash out. Look, if this is the way that we're having this conversation anyway, then yeah, fine, sell. She's scared. Fine. I'll do it. Right now. Playing. I don't think he, I mean, I think he would, but like he's I like. I think he would. Bullshit. You don't care if I sell? Bro, say something, girl. Don't be a fucking jerk, dad. You want to do it? She doesn't have a choice. She doesn't want him to sell. She yes. has to. That's what I thought. So no longer be working for Gail? Of course I would be interested. If it's real. This is real. Yes, of course. Dad, I can do it. Oh my God, I've never seen her emotion like this. Why did you never ask me, huh? I would kill this. I'd fucking destroy it. Yes. Yes. She's never been more happy in her life. She just got married two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, wouldn't you be though? She won the succession. No, bro, Marsha's still in play. I'm sorry. With Marsha in play, I still oh, am like. Fucking Marsha. Mm -hmm. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Two votes she has. For now, we need to keep this between us. Mm -hmm. I gotta think about Tom, Gil. We have to think about the choreography anyway. I'm gonna get you up to speed. Wow. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Fuck. Yes. All right. It's funny because the threat of selling. He's finally actually it's considering this. He would have probably named Kendall if this was the last season before Kendall did all that shit. Mm -hmm. In fact, he did name Kendall before he reneged on that. How'd it go? Yeah, yeah, cool. He offered me the company. I told him to uh, send you to look at pineapple production in Honduras. Damn. Damn, and she was yeah. for real. How's the plan? A lot of options. <laughs> Jesus, Chef. What have you fucking landed me? Is it huge? <laughs> well, honestly, it's a bit big for him still if she gets it. Yeah. Chair of Global Broadcast News. Shit. Damn. <laughs> oh my God. 
<laughs> Wasn't she in there talking about cutting news, though, completely? Did she said cut TV or cut news? She said news all together, paper and TV. Afternoon. Afternoon. So? What is it? Is that the contractor? Mm -hmm. So you got a bit disappointed when I set a 200k ceiling. So you stuffed a fucking bag of live raccoons to rot in my chimney. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Three bags full, sir. Did he? That's a bag of raccoons. How'd they get there? Don't know about that. Yeah? Well, I'll pay you a hundred grand all in and we're done. That, that won't even cover the material, sir. Try to stink me out. I won't fucking have it. That was a 300 grand job, sir. That was the price. Yeah? Of well, sue me. Good luck. <laughs> What's 300 grand to you? Grand it was a 300k you. job. He set the ceiling at 200k. They couldn't get it done. So they stuffed some raccoons in the fucking... I mean, it's shitty on the raccoons. Y'all couldn't have just... It's a bag of raccoons. I have to believe that he did put it in there. No, he did. I mean, $100,000. Yeah. Short, I mean... In three or four years' time, I think there'll only be one legacy media operation left. I say, let that be us. One firm left, last man standing. We're gonna be... I don't the number know. one media conglomerate in the world. No. Kendall and Roman will act as co-chief operating officers while I personally devote my time to the fight against this takeover. Well, excuse me, did, did you just say co-chief? No, he's coming back? We need to stick tight. Tighter than ever now. He, he tried to help your oldest enemy to take over and he gets a promotion? Is that what's happened? That's my decision. Well, it's bullshit. <sighs> Damn. Who's got some balls now? Now you're out here speaking? Are you gonna name a successor? After some consideration, I think we just need a name to flag privately to big investors for now. I mean, it could be anyone. I mean, I'm not going anywhere. I mean, it could be a stuffed shirt. Jerry. It could be Jerry. Congratulations. Wow. Well, okay, thank you. It won't be Jerry, but Jerry's fine. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> please stop. She doesn't even want it. Just saying a name for fuck's sake, just for people. Oh my god. We need to stuff some fucking raccoons up some guy's <laughs> chimney. <laughs> really? They're doing hood rat shit. <laughs> it's hood rat shit. <laughs> Sir, you're so calling. They're doing hood rat shit. <laughs> I don't think you guys understand that hood rats are stuffing no raccoons in anyone's chimney. <laughs> yeah, they're hood so, rat stuff. some country boy shit right there. <laughs> yeah, y'all from the Midwest, of course you would know. Oh boy, here we go, oh boy! Hello, Kendall. Uh, my dad's on his way, he... He, he sent him in call. on purpose. He had to make an important call? That's like a 1987 power move, dude. No, Ken, you're gonna have to give me something. Tell me what the fuck happened. I saw your plan and yeah, I like my dad's plan better. Sure. I just reassessed. There's a friend card here if you want to play it. You know that, right? You're not a friend, bro. No, he, he was. I know, he they're college dead. friends and everything, but also, not in this situation, you know my friend, uh-uh. I like Stewie. Yeah, I, I, I saw your plan. And, and, my dad's and I like my dad's better. My dad's plan is better. <laughs> I kind of want to see bloopers to just show you guys. Yeah, that's so funny. I think my dad's done with his call now. Yeah, <laughs> that is so hey, funny. He's like, what else can you say at the end of the day? That was the perfect cue card. I mean, what what else are you going to say? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I like this plan. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. And he's just going to leave him there. Yeah, he's just going to leave him. Ooh, right, we do have an idea. He's got another pressing matter. Yep, so I guess um, my dad wanted me to ask, is there any way through this? You know, uh, uh, an asset swap. This is Kendall's punishment. Yeah. Yep. Eating shit, bro. As you know, our position is that we're really after the whole thing. Right. So. Then, uh, then he wanted me to tell you. Yeah. Obviously, our public line will be that we are considering the offer, but it doesn't matter what you offer. He'll never recommend this to the board. You're gonna bleed cash. He's gonna bleed cash. It will never end. And maybe you'll kill him. But if you don't, he aims to kill you. He will go bankrupt or go to jail before he lets you beat him. He will kill you on the business. And if that doesn't work, he will send people around. He will send men to kill your pets and fuck your wives. And it will never be over. So that's the message. OK. Hey, all right. Cool. Good. Well, let's move ahead with that process, shall we? So we're going for it. Two old men. You wanna fight me, MMA? I'll fight you, MMA. Season two, season one. Ugh. Season two, episode season one. Two, episode How one. many seasons are there? Stop. Four. Four. Four seasons total. Total uh, four. Huh? Total four. Okay. Four, four seasons. Four, four, four seasons. Four. 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 Four
I like my dad's plan better. The, and what, dad, the way dad, Chris is saying it over plan. here was so fucking funny. Um. All right. So here, I got the uh, layout for all four seasons. Yep. Bombs, let's go. Bombs. Game. Season one is about Kendall and his possible bid for succession. Ooh. Season two is going to be about Shiv and her possible bid for succession. Season three, Connor. Connor. Season four, Rome. Rome. See, well, in the season four, they picked someone who's not either of those four fucks. The business is not going to happen in the end. I think Logan. I think uh, Kendall's going to get it in the end. Shiv yep. has. Shiv, I, I think I, no, nah. I just feel like that's his, his story. Shiv has like the right idea, almost there, like getting rid of all the extra shit they're doing. Like that's just bleeding you money to indie films, video consoles. You're not PlayStation, my dude. I'm sorry. Like whatever, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Did, did but, Rome have a similar suggestion? Yeah, like, Rome. He, sim- he was. But they right. should say media. Like the world, the tech world is coming, and they're right. Like you look, you guys go on TV and read or watch the news at all? I haven't had no. TV since like. I don't pay for TV at all. Yeah. All my TV is tech on my. <laughs> phone my laptop whatever like yeah. i, I actively I mean, look for that those people just got into the more techie shit look there's a way i think both of them i think shiv has a good all right honestly i think all of them have good points uh connor no not connor connor does not have a point he has no good points <laughs> roma's point of like let's just be a small little nimble company and play the stock market forever right yeah, that could probably definitely work shiv's whole thing of like let's trim down and only do the shit that's making the most amount of sense that could totally work too. Kindle's thing of a takeover would have worked as well. And he's trying to go for the tech angle. He's like, yeah, let's do tech. Like, they all could do it. They all have the, all of their ideas are valuable. And even, even Logan's like, of being like, let's stay here and be the last media conglomerate standing. Also, kind of a good idea. Like, if you yeah. can do it, you know what I mean? Like, none of them have the answer 100% for sure, but they could all work. Because some of those. It's just how they want to consummate that power. Like, some of those conglomerates are big enough to survive. Like, they are now. Like, they're permeated past the, the, the cable TV. You until know until the mean? fall like, comes. Yes. Until the fall. Yeah, but like, they're on, they're on YouTube. They're, they got their articles. They got their hands in like a bunch of subsidiary, like, blog type companies. The ones that always send you the notifications. And like, I, I just. Uh, I think Kendall's original ideas before the whole hostile takeover thing mm-hmm. are now going to be listened to. Like what he was always fighting on his dad for, like I got these ideas or whatever. Maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe now Logan will actually listen to them. What was the tech company he bought that with the Asian dude who used to say mean shit to him, and we just haven't even heard it? I don't know. I just saw him in the preview. Though. Yeah, I, guess I he's did. Either, so. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought you were going to fuck me so hard with a silver dildo. But right. I guess you stuff so much gold in your me. mouth, you're going to piss out fucking ingots. <laughs> <laughs> ingots? <laughs> ingots. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I think, I, I think it's, this wise move is being made. Shiv is good to take over. She's like a good public image. You know She's I mean? actually intelligent, too. Out of all of them, she... Yeah. Like, I know Ken- Kendall, too, before all his shit went down, but like... She actually has a job outside the Roy company. She yeah. works like for presidents, basically, and all that. Strong like, woman. She can ride the woke train. She she the woke geez. movement. She could ride it, but she's so <laughs> anti it. It's kind of wild. I know, but you know, she. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I I I don't know. I would like to see Shift take over. I think out of all of them now, because like Kendall does look hella weak at this point. Like even if he did succeed and like took as like was CEO, you still look weak. You're like I, as a shareholder, I don't think I would trust you, even though you say you're looking out for me. But you almost flipped on your own family. So, like, I don't know how you'll be there for me in the end. That was funny. He sent him straight into the lion's den. Yeah. Lisa, can you go in there and take care of this? I'll be in there. I have an important call. The 1987 <laughs> power move. <laughs> and, like, Kendall knows, but it's just like, yeah. yeah he's like, you can't do anything. He saw his dad's plan, and. It's bad. I liked it. I, saw, I, liked I saw. Get rid of this food. It stinks. It, it the stink touched it. They said it three times. Like one on the TV, <laughs> once to Shiv and Rome, and then once at the end. And the rule of threes played perfectly, and each time it was funnier. I don't know why. I thought it was so good. I feel when so I bad saw him. this episode first, I was so annoyed with him. I was like, bro, shut the fuck. You sound like a tape recorder. <laughs> the truth, it was such a small statement, but like, what else are you going to say? He's like, so what else can you say? Yeah, I guess. And he, he can He's take the so family broken. line of like I just I got sentimental about my family but you, you did it on the wedding it's just he, what a fucking he's family. dealing with like being a murderer right now, and like those are he can't even think for himself. He's he can't so, even get any coke. He's so stuck in his like brain he got pod. Park coke. <laughs> just I just need something to straighten me out, man. It's what 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 a set of balls to be like. Hey, new lady, where's yeah. Jess? Jess gets me coke. Yeah, can you just, get me coke? I know her. that I Carolina. am. I got a problem with it, but can you go get it for me? Yeah, please. Of course. Also, ten billion. 
I can go around the fucking room, but they don't want the money. They already have the money. Also, rich people don't test their matter. coke for fentanyl. Like you just did part coke. What? Like you know, you could bro. Die. He keeps thinking bad things won't happen to him. That's why he's in a fucking car with ketamine kit. Ketamine kid. He, he went to the meth like house the worst with the wolf ever. dudes. He's just like, oh yeah, you guys are doing meth and talking about wolves. I will go to your house. I don't his, know who the fuck. His name is Andrew Dodds. Andrew, Andrew Dodds. Dodds. Like he just doesn't Dodds. believe bad shit happens to people. I Dodds. guess. Just, <laughs> didn't happen to me. Dod. Dod. I think it was Dodd. Dodd. Dodds. Dodds. It was Dodds. Dodds. It was Dodds. Do you? You're thinking of Lou Dobbs. Maybe. He's fuck. If my if a sink touched my food, I don't know if I would eat it or not. I'm like trying to think of that like scenario right now. Like I want I want to think this place has smelled but awful. Like, there, and you guys have still eaten food in here. No, guys. this this side of the house you mean us guys. Smell, this side of the house smells awful. Yeah. The other side's fine. But that's how that was. But like that was the entire house. Our kitchen's over there. But it's, it, something smells bad. It's like we doesn't don't know. necessarily mean that bacteria is getting on. But we don't know how bad the smell was. But oh also, no, I, agree. I don't think bacteria is getting, getting on it. But food, the stink yeah. particles are there. It's like if you took a hot dog into a fucking porta potty. I'm not eating that hot dog. Uh, yeah, I'm see, I'm exactly. eat anything inside a porta potty. Right. What are you doing? What? You, just, you know why? Because the stinks in there. I don't even eat in my own bathroom. This is weird. You shouldn't be eating in a bathroom. Period, guys. What? You guys don't sit in a bathtub. And just bang out glizzies. It's <laughs> glizzy Gillespie. It's, not, it's like haram to actually take mm. food in the bathroom. Yeah, well, it ain't haram for me to do Boko it. So haram, I'm gonna baby. Do it. I'm gonna slide a hot dog up my ass and shit out of my mouth. <laughs> God damn. Hey, we hope you guys really enjoyed it. anything else, guys. Uh, no, <laughs> that is all. It's a, another severe lack of Greg. Greg yeah. has the master plan. I want to see him take over everything. Yeah. All too. right. Yeah, honestly, if it's going to anybody, um, it's Greg. 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 It's Greg. Greg. If Greg wins it in the end, I, I would champion for it. Although I'll be sad because Greg will lose his soul in his heartless corporation. So that'd be Greg. That All right, guys. Greg 2020. We'll see you there. Greg. Bye. What's up, my money normies? Thank you for watching another episode of Succession with us. A big shout out to Anastasia Lencia, Jack, Matthew Taylor, and Joe Mags. We'll see you guys next time.